What is good? Good people. So here we are again. Back again with your boy J. Chris. 444. <clears throat> he's... He's been going in some, into some interesting pathways and avenues lately. Um, all good because you know, from from my perspective, uh, there's only if if you continue forth, then there's only uh, a continuity that there's a a flow happening there. Whereas if you get uh, caught up in fear, say like, uh, you feel the need to start hoarding or, or buying uh, needless shit, uh, like paper towels and toilet paper and hand sanitizer and what, what the fuck ever people are, are doing right now, then, then you're... Uh, trapping your, your mind you're allowing your mind to be encapsulated and, and trained uh, constrained uh, constricted restricted and then you are acting from uh, someone else's uh, someone else's mind truly once once these things of fear happen and we uh, entertain them and we engage them and we go down that path and avenue engaging the fear and the pain uh, we are operating from someone else's scripts that have been set up so that you can behave in a certain manner that's predictable and this this very much goes into AI and uh, algorithms and uh, computations and it, truly 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 you you have no fucking idea what AI is because what what's being presented to you as AI is predictive programming that's very very fucking simple it's very simple especially whenever you have a certain type of majority of mentality to work with it's uh it's very fucking simple So we'll get into some things here. I don't know how deep I want to go. <sighs> Cuz uh the the psycho circus merry-go-round shit show is uh continuing to to amp up more and more. And that's for a fucking reason. And I will say with this uh, Shimona virus that instantly I was uh, surprised at how many people saw through it, even just a little bit. Maybe, maybe even before they they jumped on board with the uh, the hysteria, because you know, it just it just was like a fucking fire. And this is how this is how it operates: is uh, they they know the mentality of uh, the population that they're working with, so they know where and when to light the fires. But right now, why why this is so different? And I and I feel like everyone can feel that there's a tinge, that there's a certain taint <laughs> that that is different with this. 
there's a certain taste that is uh, different with this. It, it, it wasn't what it was supposed to be. So it's, it's just very interesting to me. So yeah, we'll get into this. Um, I don't, I don't, I don't want to go too much into prophecy because uh, it's not a prophecy for for people who actualize and and manifest. It's just reality. That's, that's how it works. Okay. Um, as will be reflected with the card that I'm going to draw. I'm sure at, at the end of this. Being the creator, uh, the the, <laughs> the magister, the magistrate. We're living in a world today of straight fear porn. Straight fear porn. Just lost in space. No joke. I'm doing the same stuff, uh, Brenda. What are you saying? I'm doing the same stuff. This is it. We're ready. I've got bigger and better fish to fry out here, and I'm just getting started. I mean, I just think that uh, for uh, the most part, look, I don't want to be disappointed. I want to be right. Not because I want to be right, but because I like the path, this path. You want to be wrong. If you're, if you're, th if you're thinking, no, man, I'm telling you this goes into fam FEMA camps, you want to be wrong. I want to be right. Ah, uh, well, the thing there is, and it, it's funny because even people with this uh, fucking Shimona virus, um, I'm having people come up to me and they're like, I think there's a lot of people that really want this to go like all the way south. Like, I feel like there's people that are just ready, you know, with their guns and they're, they're, they're wanting it. And, and, uh, this is from people I wouldn't expect to say these things to me. So there's a lot of things happening right now that that's, I wouldn't have expected people to wake up so quickly. So uh, this this uh, immediately backfired, at least with the United States. I don't know about other countries. It seems like they uh, played their scripts well and how they were meant to. But with the United States, uh, yeah, something different happened. And this is going to be reverberated and reflected and refracted back to us. Once, once we get into, uh, well, what I'm going to get into later, a little bit later with this, is uh, that this is just kind of stage one here of the uh, fear virus. And uh, it, it's going to escalate. Because this is the perfect setup for for whatever, um, any any party or side once or if you want to see like the collective good or the collective evil this is the perfect time right now to uh, sink your teeth into or to allow things to spiral and see the outcomes haha <laughs> The vision, the sight, the 2020 vision, how very coincidental that, that this is all happening, 2020, and there's a great magnitude of people that are seeing, not necessarily seeing what it is for what it is, but seeing that it's fucking ridiculous. Right? That's the difference. My outcome, we want that. We all want Okay, that. so yeah. <laughs> Where I was going is that uh, these people that, um, you know, people become attached to their, to their ideologies. And that's because, you know, like like uh, this guy mentioned in, in the previous uh, little, little segment, 
was that all is imagery. All He didn't say all is mind, but that's essentially what it is. All is imagery and the manipulation of the image. He kind of went into like a... Uh, actually, oh, I wish I would have shared that because that was a beautiful... That was probably the, the most beautiful part of all this was where he went into... Uh, you know, if you're not where he is, it's kind of just his words, like where, where we are at, which is, uh, you know, God isn't unbelief anymore. God is just, uh, we, we uh, realize and recognize it because, and he didn't go into the engagement, but, that, but that's why um, we, we can release our beliefs finally. Well, first of all, we have to come from a point where we release everything, we, we we have to let go of uh, everything because there's so much that you have been indoctrinated into believing that you have to start first start with releasing all of it and then you have to rebuild through direct experience gnosis engagement and then you will tap into things like you know deeper levels of awareness meditation yoga hypnosis trance states um, lucid dreaming, uh, out-of-body experiences. And you will find a whole uh, avenue and rabbit holes to go down with, with all these things. But the key is to draw back. Definitely research and, you know, allow you the inspiration to guide you. But, but draw back and realize, hey, there's still more I need to experience and engage for myself so I can know for myself what is what. And truly, once you tap into a deeper level of understanding, then you don't need any kind of outside influences. This is where we're going to lead to as well with which this guy is saying is where it stems from, where, where the true knowledge comes from, is inside, through that direct engagement, not relying upon anyone else's story, or their description of that experience. And that's not to say that we can't help each other along the way, I've said this before, um, a lot of times, whenever we have deep levels of engagement or experiences, uh, we just have that raw experience, and then we kind of are <laughs> making our way back to homeostasis. And in that path, uh, a lot of times we will have it upon things. Things will just come about, spring forth, that have the words to match ex perfectly what we have experienced so in that sense the things outside of us can help us but that's because of what we already previously engaged and experienced within so see it first originates from within and then the outer manifestations happen they they come to us we are fucking magnets people we are magnets for reality and we create reality but whenever we don't necessarily realize the things we are creating um, it's, it's not going to be such a a powerful thing happening as in Whenever you are still on the path of realization, and I mean, that's, that's just going to be an ongoing path, but whenever you're starting off, you don't realize the power that you have. And so sometimes we need little uh, inclinations and reminders of what we are doing. And this is what I mean by um, happening uh, upon the power of synchron 
of synchronicity and being in sync. Um, you'll happen upon people that will say things that they may not even realize what they are saying to you, what, how you are taking it. But the fact that they are saying it to you in that moment is uh, divination. It's divine. It's, it's there for a very specific reason. And once you can tap into that, that, oh, shit, this person is saying this. They may not realize it, that's fine, but what I'm getting from it, that's of the utmost fucking value. And you have to go through the level of, you know, thinking that you're crazy or whatever, and and uh, if you talk about it with people, they're going to try to convince you that you're not making any sense, because it's not going to make sense to them, because it's fucking for you, people. So uh, this is just a mental game, this is a all a fucking mental game and to strengthen your mental fortitude so that you can engage in the things that you need to engage in to get to get right but also to get God to get good okay to get real really real past the indoctrinated uh, ideologies of what you've been taught real is to engage it. Fuck that. You just look at that and go, I don't know, man. That sounds not so... I get it. I get it. I'm not trying to convince you of shit. I'm just saying, for me, that's the way that looks to me. And then for that little bitch to come along and say, you're a trader. <laughs> no, I'm not trading shit. What the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> well, what are you talking about? How? Shout out to you trolls. <laughs> And I mean, the trolls, they don't even realize that they're trolls as well. Seeing something from a certain perspective, um, uh, seeing a message through uh, a distinctive layer and lens to where you feel the need to project your ignorance, essentially. And then uh, everyone, everyone else who, who's able to uh, observe your your reaction, it's pretty fucking obvious what you're doing. Your misconceptions and your need to hold on to those misconceptions because you have been you have become comfortable with your pain body, with the illusions. That you think that you have to live with, or that you have to deal with, or that you think that you're being punished with. Or that you're being triggered in the moment to respond in a certain way, and to defend that uh, kind of trigger response. And my message, my message is always the same. Take a step back. Look at it again later. Whenever, whenever you have potentially have a little bit more clarity about you. To where you can see what's going on. But that rarely happens with people. Unless they really start to do some deep level uh, waking up. And then... If they remember to come back to uh, a dialogue or engagement, then different levels will open up to them. How so? How so? Explain it to me, because I'm not as smart as you. I need that to be explained, because I'm seeing censorship was just removed, you jackass. And when I see that censorship <laughs> is removed, I go, oh, uh oh, looks like, looks like we might actually have control. Why is that shit? Why, why is it? Why do we have two hundred and sixty people here? For real? Well, why? We shouldn't. We, we we should not have. Why am I? Why or sub suddenly growing? Why can I search Google right now for fucking just about anything and pull up organic results? 
All right, I'll let, I'll let that go for a little bit <coughs> just to address it. Um, well, first and foremost, uh, <laughs> obviously, whenever people are being uh, quarantined or whatever, and whatever you're talking about, a hot topic, that's going to draw more um, current towards you. So that, that's the answer to that right there. Also, uh, in regards to censorship being removed, he's talking about. Um, I'm assuming, like he's talking majoritively <laughs> about uh, being on certain devices, because I operate from a PC, and I noticed. It would have been around the time that I put my video up talking about uh, or whenever I was out in nature and then uh, sun gazing and then like uh, trying to find. I, I, I wanted to find because I, I know I've seen hundreds, not <laughs> an exaggeration, but a lot of images um, showcasing what it's like to have like a burnt image and like an after image effect happen and that's all i wanted a simple after image effect to happen and i've i've have never not been able to find something um and especially because of the linguistics that i can uh use and tap into but um the search engines were completely completely cold c-u-l-l -L, and controlled uh, i could not find the image but but and this is like another key aspect here because of this i was led into other avenues and uh in the description of that video i'm talking about i i, I put um you know i described this a little bit and then i also put a link to something i did find which was fucking amazing but uh, so yeah, that that was just a clear sign to me, and it's been the same ever since. It hasn't changed since then. Um, whenever I search for something, a specific criteria comes up, and I can change even the words. The same criteria comes up every time, the same results. So uh, it's very interesting to me, for me, that he's mentioning this because I'm experiencing the exact opposite, like uh the ultimate censorship to where and I've never had that problem where I cannot find something that I've seen so much before and I use I I didn't just use Google I used Google until I was fed up with it and I used other search engines about three or four of them and it was the same thing and I use other platforms as well Vimeo and BitChute and just other platforms and it was the same thing. I could not find the thing I was looking for. And yeah, that that's never happened. That was uh it wasn't really frustrating, it was just like hmm, something weird's going on here. So uh to me that that kind of uh maybe is like because I don't have uh smart devices, smart how smart is it? Um, that kind of uh, seems to me like this is also a big push towards getting people more addicted to their to their devices. And yes, of course, whenever this is happening, you want a more free flow to happen. So that people are like, oh, hey, like, I'm finding what I really want. And then they're also collecting information from that, if you don't realize. The metadata, every little thing that you do online or with in connectivity with these devices, they're gathering your information and your input. And uh, it's just, this is going to the predictive programming. And, and then they're selling you, selling it to you as AI, but it's just, 
it's it's very easy, very easily done, very predictable because the programming and the indoctrination is so hardcore that it, it's very easy to uh, predict and manipulate uh, an outcome. So uh, why they do these things is they, they want to see the uh, outlayers, the outlier, whatever that term is, uh, the ones that are anomalies. And so they can uh, navigate around that and make sure that it does, that, 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 that virus does not spread. Because they don't want a virus, the, the, uh, the, the smart virus, the, the, uh, can get real virus to spread. They don't want. They don't want it to be spread to fucking meditate and to certain ways of engagement. To start to figure shit out for yourself. Can someone answer that? It's a choose-your-own-adventure story. Bobby Chicken, if you're right, and it's in a choose-your-own-adventure story, then I, I then, then I don't see why you wouldn't choose this the one kick I'm on, because this shit's fucking sick. Yeah. <laughs> it absolutely is a choose-your-own-adventure story. And it's... Uh, it is for everyone. And then... Uh, once you realize what people are doing <laughs> as a human being and you start controlling the collective uh, scripts that people are believing in, then you can guidepost it. You, you can uh, direct it to wherever you want once you're in control of this shit. Once you see, once, once you are that little... Uh, Capstone that's separated from the rest of the pyramid, right? And let's choose your own adventure story. That that's many different layers and realms, even. To realize how how powerful your mind is, how powerful you are, that you can create realities. That you do this all the fucking time. Oh, like uh, like because we're nipping it. Um, and maybe it really is. <sighs> Why wouldn't you want to choose someone's? script and story that you know is quote unquote good or that is uh, shedding light on something well because uh, how, how the game is played is that it's, a, it's called a bait and switch they, they give you a little taste of uh, you know something that you want and then ah once you take that bait ah now we can draw you into another layer to a different engagement to where it's going to be more predictable how you respond this is also why it's so important to cultivate a meditation practice so that you can realize and take control of how you are responding in every single moment every time you have a choice to respond to something you take a step back and you're like hmm what's really going on here what do i need to see you start to ask these deeper level questions before you even have a response or an, a reaction but most people like that that's not going to be accessible to them because they are so caught up in in the pain body they have become addicted to their pain and to their level of comfort uh, they they have become addicted to the numbing, so that they don't have to face this the level of uh, intensity that they need to engage and integrate, so that they can transmute it and 
finally get right, as in get real. And if this is speaking to any uh, one individual, realize that this is a collective thing that's happening. You're not alone by any means. Uh, most fucking everyone is doing this shit on some level. So even if you're going through like some fucking terrible shit right now, realize. Uh, everyone is on some level. This indoctrination shit runs deep, motherfucker. It's a layers. This is layered. Uh, the levels of intensity and engagement. You can touch upon one and then it's too much and then you fall back. And it's just layers and layers and back and forth. A lot of times people, people will ping pong back and forth between certain layers. That's usually where people are at. Is they're ping pong be, between uh, certain levels of engagement because they there's something that they don't want to face. It's too painful or it's whatever. And it really is. Are you willing to manifest a happy ending? B13 says, yes. Uh, we do not understand, actually, what is going on. We are just awake enough to realize, Crystal Alice says, that we were conditioned into this crazy and we no longer want to be a part of that shit. Right. Yeah, and that's level one. Right, but we don't get to, in this very moment, oh, maybe we do, maybe it's by maybe it's by choice. Uh -huh. you, you choose your own adventure. I don't know, I'm on some crazy-ass adventure right now uh -huh. uh, that's fucking a killer movie, so I don't know what kind of trip you're on. And I'm not saying, I'm not saying anyone is wrong, okay, people, I'm not saying anyone is wrong or anyone is right, I'm saying that it's both, and it's, it is everything, it is both and neither collapsing, it is, it is everything. <laughs> yes. A killer movie. So I don't know what kind of trip you're on. You join up on mine because mine is awesome. <laughs> okay, so uh, with with this Shimona, they're they're absolutely and uh, this is something I, I wanted to say earlier on in, in making this, but uh, I got sidetracked. Is that there's a large amount of people that that can that are recognizing that there's something else going on. They can feel it. Like they know that there's some there's so, and that's the thing though. There's there's so many things going on. Um, who, I don't want to go all all that deep. But with everything that happens in our world, there is a there are certain forces at play. You could liken it to uh, God or good, and then also uh, the opposite of that. Things that seek control and corruption. Uh, control through corruption and through manipulation. So it's always, there's always, uh, you know, you could say a battle going on between these two things. Um, between uh, the the people that are engaging these that that's that's the fucking key the the human beings that are allowing these things to happen through them because the darkest of the dark they they don't realize the origin of the darkness they're succumbing to things that they they don't. Uh, understand how how old it is it's it's origin old it's from the beginning but these things eventually snuck their ways in snuck <laughs> snuck their way in and convinced enough people to engage that uh spiraled out out of control 
because of uh, the manipulation. The crazy, the crazy got too powerful. The crazy and corrupt. So yes, there there are all these things going on, and it's not it's not necessarily like a yes or it's not a this or that. It's a this and that. There's so many things going on within this that you know there's there's so many good things as as in beneficial as in a beneficial outcome, but then there's also so many deeper darker level things that are sinking their fucking corrupted teeth and roots into the engagement to spin it and manipulate it. But then that spin and manipulation is becoming, uh, you know, a different thing that they they are finding. <laughs> Each time they spin it, it, it's not working out for them. So uh, that's why they're pulling all the stops now. And, and we are we are only... At the beginning level here. Things are going to get very, very more crazy. So, uh, like, like I have uh, put in, in another video. Uh, I'll put the link down below. Uh, uh, prep your fucking mind. That, that's, that's the preparation that needs to happen. Prep your mind. And then you can handle what the fuck ever. It doesn't matter. Because you know how to navigate, so so whatever happens, you just go with it. You, not necessarily, you know, like like go with the, go with the fucking scripts. It's it's you flow with it. You roll with the punches, right? The, the the way I'm the way I'm kind of seeing this it ends in a really good way. I, mean, I do have my concerns that um, that we go back to normality. Yeah, and a lot of people are feeling that too. It's like, man, after all this, if we go back to the same old fucking shit show, like, fuck it, fuck this. Yeah, yeah, pretty much. But I mean, that's that's. I mean, and I mean, a lot of people are feeling and expressing these things for a reason. It's because, it's because that's an, uh, an outer reflection and manifestation of the all these inner workings that are going on right now. There's so many inner workings going on right now. And you are the one that decides what you want to tap into. If you want to feed the fear... If you want to fan the flames of certain ideology and belief that you are limited, that's on you. And that is going to come back to you in some way or form. Of... So that you can finally get it, get it that is an inside job. What this is really is what uh, these corporations in the medical industry is really all about, and I'm not talking about the people who are, you know, caught up in it and trying the people that are actually trying to do good, but they have been indoctrinated into a certain mentality that, you know, they they have been tricked into believing that they are actually helping. They, they when that is not the case unless you are in a certain field where where you can uh, integrate different levels of awarenesses and um, mentalities with your healing then you are not actually helping people at all you are worsening their sickness worsening their worry and Potentially getting them addicted to chemicals or a certain ideology or a certain belief that makes them worse and worse and sicker and sicker. The more you stress about shit, the worse it's going to get. Until you flip the script and transmute it and transform it. 
That's the key here. Transformation. So let me try to find the point here that I wanted to get to. And you know, okay, there's no denying. You can sit there and say, you know, don't don't be one of those people who are like, they're fucking flat cards. They're not. No, they are. <laughs> Well, that's not it. That's not it. Um, uh, provide it. us with truth, answers, and I don't mm. mean to make this sound fucking poetic. I'm not trying to sound poetic. I'm not trying to sound like a fortune cookie. Right. That's an interesting thing. I don't know. I I I don't. I don't. Uh, so you're saying that SJWs our social justice warriors are for us That's not me. or answers and i don't mean to make this sound fucking poetic mm. i'm not trying to sound poetic i'm not trying to sound like a fortune cookie but i think that the reality is is that nobody can uh provide us with truth because it's not out there exactly like that it's from within and I'm not saying that to be abstract either. I'm saying literal. You looking out of your eyes. You who looks out of the eyes. That wears the skin. That wears the skin color. That wears the gender. That wears the outfit. And to walk around and go, I'm a white man. I'm a black man. I'm a woman. I identify as this. I identify as that. It's all fucking lost. But the reality is, is not you're none of those things. That's the that's the body that you're in. That's the body. That's the body you're experiencing all of this through. Those are the eyes you're looking out of. You're behind the retina, and just because you can't be seen doesn't mean you're not there. You're operating from outside of this physical space. That's beautiful, and like he said, that's that's the the, the key point of of his show here, and that was, that was towards the, right at the end, really. And essentially, it's you're the you're the fucking one in control. So this is this comes back into like truth. Like, what is truth? Uh, where do you find truth? Is truth found outside of you? And like I said earlier in the beginning of this. You know, yes, we can be led to things that uh, help guide us towards, you know, maybe an understanding of what we experienced or um, help guide us towards, you know, this holistic balance. But these things are guideposts. They're not, they're not, uh, they're not truth necessarily until we decide to make it so. So the truth happens with you. Because that's that's what you do. You create what it is that you want to align with. So whenever you align with a certain ideology and mentality, that's going to be your reality. Your reality is going to reflect that back to you. So if you want to uh, be fearful or be in pain, that's going to be your reality reflected back to you. In some levels, yes, you can escape from the pain and find and find things that, that help you escape from it, and then you can have glimpses of beauty and, and truth. But then, you know... Uh, the things that you have been running away from is going it's all always going to come back until you finally see it for what it is until you finally sit with it and deal with it and do the things that you need to do to get right and to get real to get true for you and realize uh where it matters the most and that is with your engagement with truth and love. Okay, so I'll pull this card real quick.
because uh, that's when that's what you were with your imagination. You are the creator, co-creator. In a rustic tropical temple, a man carries out an elaborate ritual. He moves with a circle ringed with candles and offerings. As he dances, he juggles the symbols of each element with ease. Mysterious etchings cover the walls. Sigils. The magician channels spiritual energy. Through his contact with the divine, he can access immense power and creativity. And this is the magician is every human being, and the fool is every human being. He uses the symbols of each suit as tools in order to tap their elemental powers. He directs these energies consciously through the use of his will. The will is a mighty force that can create and transform situations. It's the power, the power of your choice. It is so profound that, is, that it is indeed magical. While the fool is spontaneous and unconcerned with the future, the magician sees the connection between actions and their consequences. Magic has been described as the science of hidden relationships. The magician The magician's act That's not right. The magician's art <laughs> is in understanding, anticipating, and working with these relationships in a reading. This card counsels you to take an active, engaged, and exploratory approach to life with focused attention and clear intention. Your power to manifest is unlimited. So yeah, that, that's a perfect fucking card for this. Uh, for for getting into uh, this power that, that is within us all. The power to create. The power to will something forth. Even if, when we get stuck in uh, you know certain avenues and eddies, uh, what we aren't realizing is like getting stuck in something we are willing that reality for us like even whenever we feel powerless we don't realize the power that we are having in creation whenever we get stuck in a certain mode or modality or, or thought or a certain way of thinking the power that you have to create your reality is unlimited And it's multi-layered, and you get uh, more and more attuned with how in sync everything is, how how perfect everything is. Once you uh, really start to let go of shit, let go of your beliefs, your ideologies, what you've been led to believe, and you just start to engage and learn through this. So, uh, yeah. Engage the pathways that are hinting towards 
a deeper level of understanding and engagement. And yes, like recognize that if you are fearful of something, that's because there's something there that you need to understand. So continue to engage that, even if it's painful or fearful. Realize that you are having a reaction for a reason, and it's not for you to shy away from it. And yes, sometimes we, we have engagements where we're like, that. that's, you know, I've already been there. I know what that route is like. That's not me, so I'm going to choose another path. And that's the power of choice. That's the power of recognition and, and realization. To know where you want to go. To know where sometimes it, it's very fucking painful. And if things are repeating themselves in your life, then... Pay attention to the precursors. Pay, pay attention to the energetics and the emotions happening. They keep happening in, in, in a repeated pattern. Pay attention to your patterns, people. Transcend your patterns that you have been taught to repeat. You have been taught to trick yourself into a certain level of normalcy, normalcy and uh, comfort. It takes bravery to get real, so be brave <laughs> and feel into the real. You're not alone. We're, we out you, people. Peace.